August 1st is Earth Overshoot Day. Were you aware of that? I was not aware of that. Had you heard of that? No, never have. What is that? What about the concept of overshoot? I've not heard of it. Maybe it's got to do with the climate. Well, that's a big part of it, but not all of it. Overshoot is actually the fact that uh, the human, human race has outgrown the planet. Scientists at the Global Footprint Network have been busy calculating how we're doing in terms of living sustainably. On August 1st, we will have already, around the world, used all of the resources that we depend on that the planet can replenish in a year's time. The fact that Earth Overshoot Day this year is August 1st, that means that we are... Bad. That's bad. That's, that's horrible. So if we were living sustainably uh, so that future generations would have as much access to resources as we do, then Earth Overshoot Day would be when? December 31st. <laughs> yeah, like the, like midnight, <laughs> midnight on the, the last, last day. last second, <laughs> right? But it's been slowly moving earlier and earlier in the year over the last several decades, telling us that we're actually using resources faster than the Earth can regenerate them. Definitely, we're living too hard on the planet. How does that make you feel to know that we're looking at August 1st this year? Uh, I mean, it's kind of scary when you think about it. We celebrate if we're building more houses. We celebrate if we're buying more cars. Uh, it seems like we have a system that depends on us consuming more year after year. We do have a system that depends on that, and not rightfully so. If they just looked at the U.S., if, uh, the way we live, it would require five planet Earths if everyone around the world were to adopt our lifestyle. Does that surprise you? No, it does not. It does not surprise. I think I've heard and seen, right? We were one of the most wasteful nations in the world. So do you have any ideas about things that we could be doing to move the date of Earth Overshoot Day later back to, toward December 31st? Hmm. Um, just being conscious of what we're producing, our waste. And what we're putting into the environment with chemicals, dyes, emissions, um, how we dispose of waste, how we eat. Are you suggesting maybe we should be eating less meat or no meat? Fully sourced foods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And how about a lot less meat? Would that make a difference? Yes. Eat fewer vegetables? Eat more vegetables. Less, <laughs> less garbage. <laughs> our water conservation, it's important to take care of our waterways. I have a hard time with my daughter who loves to take long showers. People irrigate, you know, two acre lot and uh, we just don't have that much water. Just be a little bit more conscientious about, you know, throwing things away instead of using them again. Make things efficient, look for cleaner sources of energy, using our resources widely. I think we have some legit technology out there that could actually make, like even solar, is like can be a legit power now. They tell us that, uh, that if we could have our carbon emissions, that that would actually push Earth Overshoot Day three whole months later. The people that can make a difference, that control, are in control, aren't paying attention. You would hope that politicians and elected officials would take note of that and really start changing policy that would benefit the earth and further educate people just on what's going on with the environment. We have to bring people into power who do understand that. Really, it just starts with, with yourself. I try to live in a manner where I have, a, where I have a, a small footprint. What are your ideas? Well? I think we just still have too much disposable styrofoams, bags. I leave my car in the garage more and more often and ride a bicycle. I got rid of the car. Urban areas can uh, you know, go to more of that approach where we get rid of all of the cars like that and have less emissions, that'd be great. Does that include walking and mass oh, transportation? I, I wear moccasins, and I do like that our public um, transportation is very nice here. Ubers are great now, um, ride shares. I um, have three bicycles that I put these little 80, in, 80 size engines in them, and not only does it pedal, if you get tired, you can pull you, and it gets about 100 miles to the gallon. We've given up paper towels and paper napkins at That's my house. That's good, yeah. We have des dedicated rags and we recycle t-shirts. <laughs> so does this mean that you're trying to use your private jet a little less often? Yeah, if I, if I ever get one, I'll use it less often. 
cut back on airplanes, how many airplanes we use like a day type stuff like that. You know what I mean? Now, I know of one guy who gave up toilet paper. A bidet is not bad. <laughs> I like bidets. <laughs> I feel like it's the population thing that's really messing around with that. Is that what it is, the population? I know people with five, six kids. Now, when we should, no one, I don't think anyone should be having more than a couple. How many of us there are and how big we're living, really, right? At McMansions, nobody needs that. Only flush the toilet once a month? Uh, uh, tiny house, I need more than that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it just, you know, every little thing, just being conscious of what you're doing. But it is a little bit of a sacrifice, right? Yes, it is. But would you make that if that uh, if your children and grandchildren would have a better world? Most definitely. Yes, I would. I have a daughter. I'd like her to live on a good earth, <laughs> hopefully, you know. Do you think that if more people knew about Earth Overshoot Day, that just as a general rule, humanity would shrink its footprint a little bit? I believe it would. Earth's a great place. We ought to save it. So let's both race home and tell our kids, first of all, <laughs> I'm sorry. And then second of all, tell them about Earth Overshoot Day. Yeah, there you go. Yeah.